I'm home. Ooh. Ah, Chris, just uh, hang on a minute. Son! What on earth has happened here? Oh, well, the thing is... That's my Doctor of the Year award. How did it get broken? Was this you? No, no. Unless we were broken into, I cannot see an explanation. Oh, that's the explanation. I came in myself and someone barged past me and kind of pushed me out of the way. Zond, that's terrible. Did you get hurt? No, I've got a little bruise on my arm. It's nothing, really. This is a case for investigation. Ouch. We need to take photos of absolutely everything. That bruise looks awful. And how did that cut happen? Uh, sorry, Chris, I've got to go. Don't worry, Zand. I've got just the person to help me solve it. This is forensics expert, Professor Peter Vanessis. He's an expert in medical evidence. He sifts through clues at crime scenes to help the police solve cases. This is called forensics. Today, he's helping me find out who hurt Zand and who broke my Doctor of the Year award. So what should we start by looking for? Well, obviously, look at the glass to see if there's any fingerprints. It looks like, also, there's a little bit of blood on the glass which is shattered. This is a special aluminium powder, which will make any fingerprints stand out. Ooh, I found one. Why do fingers leave a mark behind on surfaces? Fingerprint is actually consists of the secretions from the glands in your skin. It's that sweaty material which is left behind on the surface and you can pick it up by dusting. Everybody's fingerprints are different, even identical twins. If I find Dr Zahn's fingerprints, does that close the case on him? It certainly doesn't, no. But he knows he's not allowed to touch my award. Well, does he do what he's told? Almost never. Hmm, it's time to move on to my evidence board. Exhibit A, Zahn's cut. Zahn said he got it eight hours ago buttering toast, but there was blood on the award. What does our expert think? A butter knife is not the kind of knife that you'd actually cause a cut like that. The important thing is it's fresh. There's no evidence of any drying of the blood at all. So it's something which has happened very recently. So that's not an old cut. Hmm, it's not looking good for Zahn. On to exhibit B, Zahn's yellow bruise. The yellowing tells us from all the studies that have been done that it's around about 18 to 24 hours when we see the yellow bruising start coming. It doesn't come in before then. Dr Zahn said that this bruise was sustained as the burglar pushed past him. That's impossible. So that's an old bruise. Hmm, Zahn, you're in trouble. On to exhibit C, Mr Grumble's fur. There is a tuft of Mr Grumble's hair on one of the shards of glass. Although the colour is similar, we've got to take it to the lab and have it tested. So what's the verdict from our forensics expert? You certainly have circumstantial evidence. You can say that the bruise was not acquired in the way that he said, and the cut also. There's two things on which his account is completely inaccurate. There's no hiding from the medical evidence. Forensics experts like Professor Peter use their knowledge of the human body to solve crimes. Time to confront the prime suspect. Thank you for coming. We live here. There was no burglar, Zand. There was only you. You smashed my Doctor of the Year award. And this tuft of brown hair implicates Mr Grumbles as your accomplice. <laughs> no, not Mr Grumbles. I can't let him take any of the blame. It was all my fault. I knew it. But why did you lie to me, Zand? Only because I knew you'd be angry. I didn't mean to break your award. It was an accident, I promise. While you were out, we were practising for our ballroom dancing competition. I swung Mr Grumbles around, but I lost control. And then... And I thought you'd be angry, so I lied. You should have known better, Zand. Lies will always be found out. I'm sorry, Chris. I'll glue the award back together right away. There you go, Chris. Good as new.